So this is going to be a walkthrough of how to pass session attributes and how to validate them. Um, so let's start out with posting in the values. I'm going to be doing a post call to 4243, um, which is the API port for QPS. Um, I'm sending it to a specific um, path, which is a, a certain virtual proxy. I'm going to be sending in values of foo equals bar, group equals football, and email equals foo, foo at bar.com. I'm going to post that value. I'm going to take this ticket value. I've got a URL here where I've got the click ticket equals value already already set up, and I will do a new incognito win window. And I'm now logged in as attribute user. And to review what we were looking at earlier, I've got a security rule set up here, which basically says that I will see, this user will see session attribute one. If their user.environment.foo equals bar, they will see session attribute two. If their group is football, and they will see session attribute three if their email is like foo um, wildcard. Um, you can also do at bar.com if, you, if you'd like to. But the key thing to keep in mind here is that you need to do user.environment dot whatever attribute value you're passing because these are not persistent. Um, attributes. These are session attributes. They exist purely for the session. You can't validate them in the QMC. This user has ostensibly no attributes, but if we do a get call at QPS, the virtual proxy in use, user, the directory, the user, I will then see the session attributes over here. Um, to review on the virtual proxy side, this is my virtual proxy that I'm using. Uh, description, prefix, header name, these are all arbitrary. This isn't even needed. Um, this is for a ASPX ticketing page that I have set up. It needs to be load balanced to, to, a, to an engine, and it needs to be attached to a proxy to be, be listening. other thing that we discussed was um, getting the list of users by user ID. So the method for that is going to be get 4242 QRS user full filter by some values and there is a user with the name attributes. Attribute user, the current user I'm logged in as. There it goes. So I will go ahead and record, the, send this along along with QRS poke, and you should be good to go.